Another part of Governor Newsom's budget proposal, free health care for illegal immigrants. It's a plan that could be the first of its kind in the country. Fox 5's Megan Healy is live in Claremont with reaction tonight. Megan. Hi, Kathleen. Yeah, if this plan goes through, California would be the first state in the nation to provide universal health care for all immigrants, regardless of their documentation status. Now, we spoke to some local immigrants' rights groups who are praising Newsom's efforts, while critics are saying it's a waste of money. Today we're celebrating. Today we're celebrating that Newsom is responding to our immigrant community. Immigrants across the state are praising Governor Newsom's push to provide universal health care for all, regardless of their citizenship status. We know that, that this is another acknowledgement of our not only our presence, but our great contributions to California. Recently, California has drastically helped people without access to health care, but low-income residents in the country illegally still make up a huge portion of those was uninsured under the state's Medicaid program. In 2019, the state began covering immigrants ages 26 and younger, and those 55 and older just last year. In Newsom's $286.4 billion budget proposal announced Monday, he wants the state to cover the age group in the middle, starting as early as January 2024. We said we're going to do it. We said it would take a few years. We're committed to doing it. An undocumented immigrant herself, Dulce Garcia, says her family has often ignored health problems out of fear of missing work or owing thousands of dollars in medical bills. I remember having my own father uh, make a decision of whether to go to the hospital or not. His injury was infected. When he finally showed up at the hospital, they told him that he that his arm would have been amputated if he had waited any longer. But not everyone is on board with the idea. Congressman Darrell Issa criticizing the proposal, saying in a statement, quote, Gavin Newsom sees the tax dollars of hardworking Californians as his political slush fund and legal residents as undeserving of a respite from his nonstop pandering to special interests. The people of our state deserve so much better. Newsom plans to kickstart the program with $614 million, with the price tag raising to $2 billion every year after. And Kathleen, a lot of people are wondering how does Newsom plan to pay for this additional health care? And that answer was not immediately available or exactly outlined in his proposal today. Reporting in Claremont, Megan Healy, Fox 5 News. Well, we know we'll be hearing a lot more because this is one of those issues that will be great debate over. Our Megan Healy, thank you so much.